here's the Honeywell 2TL6 toggle switch used to control the landing lights in the A10C aircraft. Here's a view in the landing gear panel in the cockpit, closer up, and then the relevant page from the DCS A10C manual. We'll have a look at the data sheet for the switch, where you can buy them online. And I'll leave some close up pictures of the switch. Here's a data sheet for this particular toggle switch. It's easy to find data sheets for this series of switches, but quite difficult to get ones for this particular configuration. In fact, I found this one some time ago, printed it out at one point, and I've now lost the electronic version I have, and I haven't been able to find it again online. Uh, so it's been uh, printed, scanned back in. The quality is not brilliant, but I think if I if I zoom in to a couple of areas, you'll be able to read off the information. I'll run through close-ups of the the different projections so you can see what the dimensions are. And now I'll show you a close-up of the configurations of the toggle switch itself. This is something that caught me out. There are 12 variations of toggle switch operation on this switch. If you're after a switch for the A10C, you need a switch which moves between three positions, a central position up and down. So for instance, if you look at the top configuration, 2TL6-1, you'll see that it has a center position off. On the keyway side of the switch, there's one on position. And on the opposite side of the keyway, there's a different on position. And you can see in the brackets which contacts are connected in each of those positions. So that's a three position switch. So I would call that a, a double throw switch. So if you look down, for instance, at the 2TL6-21, that has a central off position. There is no switch position on the keyway side and there's an on position on the opposite keyway. So that 2TL6-21 only moves between the central position and one on position. So you can't control um, on, off, on. You can only go from off to on and back again, two positions. I would call that a single throw switch. I actually ordered the um, Dash 21 from Mouser on the basis of their listing. When the switch arrived, I realized they'd sent me the wrong one, um, the right switch, but they described it incorrectly. It was actually just a single throw switch. I'll show you the difference on the actual switches in a second. Uh, when I pointed that out, they were good enough to send me the correct switch free. So I've now got both variations. We'll have a look at those um, and I'll show you what I mean about these switch positions. Here's the 2TL6-1 again, right in the middle of the screen. You might just be able to read 2TL6-1. I'm not sure why this marking is so faint. It's the same on both switches, just as difficult to read in real life as it is on the camera. Three position switch, off, on, and a second on position. So three position, I would say that's double throw. Off in the middle and two different on positions on each side. This is the 2TL6-21. I think you can read that right in the middle of the screen. Central off position towards the keyway on the threaded part of the base. There's no on position. So central off, one on position, and back to off. So two positions off and on. I would call that a single throw toggle switch. No good for an A10C landing light switch because you need three positions off and two on positions. 
I'll leave some close-up pictures of the switch. I hope they'll be especially useful for anybody who's working on making their own DIY version of the switch. It's a tricky one to get just right. Thanks for watching.